So I just got to the uh, the junkyard, and as you can see, there's quite a bit to pick through. Welcome to the nightclub, guys. I'm your host, Night Wrencher. So I'm actually on my way to the junkyard. Um, picking up a couple parts for the the 75 d100 project and uh, the plan today is to find myself a LSD uh, 3.73 gear ratio Explorer uh, differential that I'm going to have um, modified to fit the d100 so what I did because I brought so many tools is uh, I actually hid them just now inside one of the vehicles that I was positive that no one was going to go inside of. Meanwhile, I actually go look for the, uh, the differential. So I finally found one. Uh, it looks to be, let's see what year it is. Uh, it's a 90, 98 rear disc brake. Um, caliper disc leaf spring. Uh, there's the tag actually right there. So I'm going to climb under here. What I'm looking for is the LSD version. So it'll, it, let's see, it's uh, only oil, synthetic oil. Oh, wrong tag. The tag I actually need is this one. And it should have an L in the number. So it's a three, 388 L73 3L73 right here 3L73 so that means it's a 373 ratio LSD so right off the bat here it is it looks like somebody started to take the the cover bolts off for some reason um, hopefully there's nothing wrong with it I'm going to open it up right now when I get back with my tools and check it out. Mini panic attack because I thought I couldn't find the uh, vehicle that I actually left my tools in. But it's actually right here. Okay, that was pretty exhausting. I brought everything, I brought everything back. So normally I would be pretty upset that I have so, such little amount of ground clearance. But because we're not allowed to bring our own jacks, um, I have to uh, try to use the jacks that come inside some of these vehicles. And I was lucky that this was in a couple cars away. Uh, I'm going to need that to lift up as I take off some of the shock towers and things like that. Another thing you want to do is you want to grab yourself a couple of floor mats. Like these, just to lay on because you're gonna be laying on top of glass and dirt, and you're gonna have to leave here full of holes and ripped jeans and shirts unless you uh, prepare yourself. So, I'm going to be putting this uh, on time lapse as I go ahead and start taking this stuff off. But, one last note is I just realized that there is a forerunner right behind me and I can go ahead and take this door that I need so that's pretty cool and some floor mats for me to lay on legit So unfortunately, I can't actually use this differential. Um, as you guys can see there, the carrier's pretty damaged. Um, the ring gear's in good shape, but I don't plan on spending the extra money to rebuild the pinions. So I'm gonna have to find another unit. Uh, this really sucks. 
So I just found another 99 Explorer. This one's black. And then across from it, I found a 99 Mercury Mountaineer, which um, are actually the same vehicle. If you look at the taillights, they're even the same taillights. I'm going to hop under and see which one's a, an LSD. This one's soaked on the bottom. Looks like it's been repaired before. It says oil only synthetic. Uh, it looks like it is a 373 LSD. Uh, right there. And so I'm going to hop under the Explorer. See, one of the tags is missing actually uh, let's see if it's the tag that we need uh, it says 278 270 I think so yeah. 278 on the LSD. So this one's actually no good to us. Well, I guess that'll do it for today. Uh, I'd say it took me about an hour and a half to two hours to pull this thing out, but it seems like it's ready to go. But uh, I am exhausted, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Night Wrencher, out.